Hey, most amazing people, I have another beautiful hockey jersey for you guys to look at today. I just picked this one up. This one came to me brand new. No tags, but if you check out the tags on the back, which I'll be showing you, you will see those tags. This is a beautiful Florida Panthers jersey from what year? Oh my goodness, look at that beautiful Stanley Cup patch from the year 1996. And look at that Panther. Just coming at you guys. I love that Panther. I also have a red jersey, the away jersey. The white jerseys were the home jerseys back when Van Beesbrook played. And also the Florida Panthers played. And then the red jerseys, the dark jerseys, those were the away jerseys. I have a Bill Lindsay. It's a beautiful jersey. It's on this channel. You can check it out. But guys, I already gave it away who this player is. Look at that, guys, that beautiful number 34, gorgeous. Look how just, you can just tell this is a brand new jersey. Look at that panther with the black and the reds and the browns and the shading and the mouth being open with the red in there. I just think hockey jerseys have the best crests. And then what's awesome about this jersey, it's got the uh, Stanley Cup patch on it, which they went in 1996. They played against the uh, Colorado Avalanche which was my favorite team in the 90s, and I watched every game here. Uh, let me show you who this jersey belongs to first. This is the great Hall of Famer, John the Beezer Van Beesbrook. How cool is that? This guy's an American-born hockey player, and with that in mind, I want to dedicate this video to a friend and a brother of mine, the most amazing, incredible guy. Really think the world of him. This one's going out to Ryan Clark, his beautiful wife, Anna Clark, and their cat, Zalila. <laughs> it's not Delilah with a D, it's Zalila with a Z. So, Anna, I hope I got it right. This one's for you. All right, guys, there's that beautiful panther. In fact, her cat, Zalila, can get acquainted with this cat and they can talk about it. Now, the nice thing about this jersey is uh, I this is the only jerseys that I have, the home jersey and the away jersey, a different player for the away jersey. But I really, really like this jersey, both of them. Now, there's a lot of jerseys that I don't like, the both the home and away jersey. An example would be the... Um, Canadians, the Montreal Canadiens. I have a WA jersey from the 1993 season. It has a Stanley Cup patch when they beat Wayne Gretzky in the uh, Stanley Cup 1993. Um, you can see that on this channel too. And then also, uh, I don't really like the all red jersey uh, for the Canadians, but I really like that white one, especially with number 33, Patrick Waugh. And then the Pittsburgh Penguins, I have a Lemieux jersey, and it's the white one with the penguin on it. Not the not the comical penguin skating on ice skates, but that beautiful pro profile penguin that's sitting there. I really like that jersey. But I'm not a big fan of the black jersey that has the Pittsburgh coming down here, uh, spelled out. Just a little too busy for me. I know it's an iconic jersey. So there's not like a lot of, like I do like, I have an Edmonton Oils, Oilers Gretzky jersey. I have the dark one, the blue and orange one. Um, and that would be one that I would like to have the white one if it ever comes up, the home jersey. But the thing is, guys, these jerseys are drying up. The best place to find these is on eBay. And you're not going to find, you know, you'll be hard pressed to find another jersey like this. And these jerseys now are going for 600 on up. Now, due to the COVID season, um, which we're in the summer now, June of 2020, uh, not everybody's buying jerseys, especially these older jerseys. People want to go to the Adidas jerseys, um, the new ones and the new players, which I understand. But this is, I was a Colorado Avalanche in the mid-90s when they came over from the Nordiques all the way up to 2001 when they won the Stanley Cup. And a few years after that, uh, I lived in Colorado for those years. And then I kind of lost Kind of lost interest in them, but what's really nice about this, guys, is this right here and this right here, it looks black from a distance, but it's actually a really beautiful 
navy blue. I hope you can see that really good. And then the colors, the red and the yellow is just amazing. And then you get the palm tree and the sun for Florida with that hockey stick, that iconic patch. I really like that one too. And just love the colors in this jersey. I'm going to do a full body view of this jersey for you guys. The thing is, is these guys, the Florida Panthers, this is a Hall of Fame goalie, he, uh, American born goalie, an amazing, holds a lot of records still that haven't been broken. He's just an amazing player. And they were they were not the favorites in that, this, the, the Avalanche where they had an amazing team in 96. And uh, they beat the Panthers in four games and the Avalanche won the Stanley Cup. It would have been nice if this guy uh, could have got a Stanley Cup. But in his career, he did not ever win the Stanley Cup. But he did win the Hall of Fame, which is a huge, huge thing there too. So guys, I'm going to do a full body view of this jersey. And it was just amazing watching the Beezer play. Uh, JBK was another one of his nicknames. Um, so this guy, he was, he was loved in Florida back when they threw the rats on the ice. They weren't real rats. They were rubber rats. But anytime Florida scored a goal, even in the regular season, the, all the rats, instead of hat tricks coming out, every goal was rats on the ice. It was pretty awesome. And then they had to go and clean it up. They made that kind of a, a tradition down in Florida. But guys, just a beautiful jersey. This is an authentic, on ice, real deal jersey, just like Jan John Van Vizek would have worn in the year 1996. And I'm gonna show you the tags after I do a full body view of this jersey. I'm gonna show you the tags that make it an authentic, on ice jersey and not a replica. One of the big ways is on this right hip. You wanna see that CCM with the orange and black hockey shield, you want to see it line up like that. So guys, let's do a full body view of this gorgeous Van Beesbrook jersey and I will show you, you can see it, it's going to look amazing. Here we go guys. All right, good people, here's a view of this beautiful Van Beesbrook Florida Panthers jersey. This would have been their home jersey. How nice and fresh of a look is that? And guys, I'm going with some Michael Jordans, one of them, to me, the best basketball player that ever lived. You guys may not think so, but six championships can't lie, you know. And he went over and played baseball for a few years. Imagine if he would have stayed with the Bulls and he could have had a ring for each finger. He could have had 10, 10 rings, you know. But guys, this is that authentic on ice John Van Beesbrook jersey. Just wanted you to see how beautiful it is, how it looks on me. Guys, I'm six foot tall, 225 pounds. I have a 32 inch length on my legs. I wear a 2X t-shirt and this is a size 54. It's a rare size. Normally I wear a size 52. The only difference is, is one inch more in the chest, which I can get away with and look, make this look. But if you're sizing jerseys up or down, kind of go like uh, for 2XL would be a 52, and then an XL would be a 50, uh, between a 48 and a 50, and then you can kind of size up, size down. Now the authentic jerseys like this one, they don't come size 2XL, XL. They come in numbers, 52, 54, 56, 48, and so on, down to 46 for the really smaller ones. So, and guys, these jerseys, these are just drying up. I got a great deal on this jersey. Uh, I, they were asking, they were asking 550, uh, maybe 600 for this jersey. It was on eBay. And people just aren't buying jerseys right now, of course, because it's COVID and a lot of people are unemployed. And I started about two years on a journey getting some of these authentic jerseys because I watched all of these players play, not just the Avalanche, but in that early, that mid 95 to 2001 seasons. Those were some great seasons with the Detroit Red Wings, with Van Beesburg. I watched these players rooted for the Avalanche. I rooted against them, but now I'm just not dedicated to one team. I go for the players and for the hockey jerseys that I really like the colors. And more importantly than the colors on the jersey, which is 
just as important is the player, who the player was. And I was really, really happy to pick this one up. I went looking on eBay for a home jersey because I had the away jersey. I really liked the white one. And I came across this authentic on ice Van Beesbrook. So I picked it up. And guys, if I was going to go out and rock this look, I got these Jordans. They're red, navy, blue, and white match up perfect with this jersey. So guys, I'm going to take this jersey off. I'm going to uh, show you the tags that make it an authentic jersey on ice jersey like the pros wear, like Van Breesbrook wore in the year 1996 when he went up against the Avalanche for the Stanley Cup and didn't make it. But let's take a look at the tags, guys. All right, guys, here's a look at that uh, jersey off so I can really show you everything a little bit closer up. There's that beautiful, I love the Stanley Cup patch from that year, and I'm really glad it's on this jersey. It really helps bring the pedigree up, no pun intended, for the uh, jersey. And there's that beautiful crest right there coming at you. And then you wanna see on an authentic on ice jersey, you want to see the proper way the numbers are sewn on. That Van Beesbrook, what a nice long name. The Beezer, I love it. It's on a nameplate, and then they sew each letter individually on it in the nameplate. But just look, the best jerseys come out of Canada. The uh, the Coho, the starter, uh, the sorry, the starters are made down in uh, El Salvador. You want to stay away from those. Uh, but the Coho, the pro player the Nike and the CCM, which this is a CCM jersey. Those are all made in Canada. Best jerseys are made in Canada. Otherwise, I'd stay away from them, guys. Just my opinion as a collector and a lover of these jerseys. But there you go, guys. That's what you want to see. You want to see that center ice tag and then the fret written in French. Same thing next to it. But yeah, and just look, you can tell. Let me get you a good look at this. You can just tell that this is going to be a brand new jersey by the way those tags and everything on the jersey is new and then there's your size 54 tag it's a little bit discolored but you know it's an older jersey so it's you can expect that and then of course you want to see the fight strap which is right here sewn in proper and then guys the tag for this one because you want to see that laundry care tag and you want to see the CCM tag and it is, there it is, uh, right here. And again, it's a, a little faded, but it's not, it's just discolored from time. It's not from use. But if you look at it, and this one is going to be a mascot jersey. And these were a little bit lighter, these jerseys. So that's your laundry care tag. That's the one that's going to say made in Canada and all that, but the CCMs, they're made in Canada, of course. And then there's your beautiful sewn in fight strap. And you can see it when you turn it inside out, you can see the stitching and everything on there. That's another way you can tell. And then of course you wanna see on the back, on the player's right hip, you wanna see that beautiful, I think CCM, the Canadian Cycle and Motor Company, that's what CCM stands for. You can see that beautiful, beautiful CCM with the orange and black hockey shield. There you go, guys. There's a good look at it. There you go. That beautiful CCM with the orange and black hockey shield. That's how you're going to know this is an authentic jersey and not a replica. The replicas won't have the orange and black hockey shell right here. And they'll say CCM, but it doesn't line up real nice in those block letters like that, like it does here. And then, guys, that's going to conclude my jersey review. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Thanks always for